Hey everyone, it's been a while for Pinocchio, and with all the upgrades that have been added, I feel it's time to make a new install video, as simple as it is. For those that don't know what Pinocchio is, as it's been stated before, it's Steam for AI apps, at least as long as they are open source. So before I start rambling, let's get into this and make it a quick easy one. First, open up Brave, or any subpar alternative browser of your choice, and go to pinocchio.computer. Yes, .computer, not .com. In the middle of the loaded screen, click on the download button. This will bring you to the install page that will allow you to choose which operating system you're using. So here are the options for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Windows is a simple single option download, so get that if you're on Windows. Mac users, you will have two options. Either you have one of the newer Macs with an M1, M2, or M3 Apple Silicon chip in it, then choose that one. Otherwise, choose a second option for the older Intel Macs. If you don't know for sure which one you have, click the Apple icon in the top left of your screen and select About This Mac, and you should find the information there. If you need help beyond that, you should maybe think twice about getting into AI apps. And for Linux users, well, you most likely will not need any help at all with any of this and probably aren't even watching this video. Regardless of operating system, once you've downloaded the file, you can feel free to close or quit your browser. I'm on a Mac, so I'll be showing how to do the next few steps specifically on that, but it's pretty simple on Windows. All Windows users need to do is unzip the file you just downloaded and run the installer executable from there. You will most likely get an annoying Windows protected your PC warning. To bypass this, just click the More Info link and then click Run Anyway, and you should be good to go. Now back to Mac, in your Downloads folder you should have a disk image or DMG file for the Pinocchio installer. Open that up. You'll be presented with a new window. Drag the black Pinocchio icon named Pinocchio app and drag it onto the Applications folder next to it. This will copy it to your Applications folder and do the basic installation. There is one more step that is needed before you are able to run the app, and that is to run a quick patch. In that same window is a command file. Just double click that, and it will open up a command window inside of your terminal application. If it doesn't allow you to open the patch command because it says it can't verify the developer, then instead open it by right clicking or control clicking the icon and select open. This will then give you the option to open it even with the warning showing up. You will then need to type in your computer login password. When you type it, you will not see any progress in the window, so just hit enter once you've finished typing. You will almost immediately be presented with a couple lines of text with the last line hopefully reading in brackets, process completed, and then it's done. Feel free to close that window and quit terminal. You can also eject the Pinocchio disk image in the same way you would any normal media devices like a thumb drive. And before I get more comments on this, as I have on my previous videos, yes, this is perfectly safe. The creator, who goes by the name Cocktail Peanut, yes, Cocktail Peanut, is a great guy and does an amazing job with his application and wouldn't do anything malicious to jeopardize his work. I'll have the link to the Discord in the description below. Now, go ahead and open up your Pinocchio application. If you're on the welcome page, you'll notice that that is basically all there is because you have yet to install any AI apps. But because I had a previous version installed, the window you are presented with may be different than mine. Either way, let's first click on the settings icon in the top right. Now this has very basic settings. First, you can see the version of Pinocchio you are running. Next is your home folder for Pinocchio. Maybe the default location doesn't have enough space, so you may want to change it to a secondary drive location. That's all up to you. AI applications do take a ton of space. Some, depending on how many models you download for an app, can take up hundreds of gigabytes. Not exaggerating. Also, it's a good idea to be running it on a faster SSD and not a hard drive. So plan ahead. The last, and in my opinion, pointless setting is to have it set to dark theme or make the horrible decision and switch it to light theme. Dark theme is the way. The troubleshooting below that is for when you're having issues with apps that just don't seem to work and sometimes resetting the bin and the caches can fix these issues. 
but hopefully you won't need to use any of these options. You can also scroll down further to see advanced settings, but we're not going to be getting into that right now, or maybe ever. Clicking on community, you can now see direct links to the Discord channel and Cocktail Peanuts X account, along with links to all of the documentation. And now, assuming that you are new to Pinocchio, you won't have any apps installed yet. So click on Discover. This is where you'll find all of the available options. Your first option is to either look at the verified scripts or the community scripts. As I'm not going to be focusing on the community scripts, just so you know, these are all automated to where if the developer tags it as a Pinocchio script on GitHub, it will automatically appear in this tab. None of these are verified to be working, and that's mainly the reason I'm not going to talk about any of these. Back to the verified scripts. If you know exactly what you're looking for, you can click and search in the field and it will automatically update the available scripts as you type. Say if I'm looking for the app Open Voice, I can type in Open and it still shows a bunch of options. But just add a V and then it will give you only the options for both Open Voice and Open Voice 2. Clearing that search and looking at all the options, one thing to look for is the blue tag at the top of each of them. The highest numbers will show at the top and the higher the number, the more recently it's been updated to specifically work with more recent versions of Pinocchio. That's not to say that ones with lower numbers or none at all won't work with Pinocchio, but the newer ones are more likely to work or less likely to break. It depends on your optimism and pessimism levels. Once you've found the app or script you want to install, or if you just want more information on it, go ahead and click on it. This will bring up a new page. As an example, here with Comfy UI, you can see that there is a link directly to the GitHub repository if you really want to delve into it. At the bottom is a news feed that is a feed of X posts specific to the news of the individual app, usually posted by Cocktail Peanut. And then the important part is the giant download button. I'm sure you can guess what that does, or maybe not. This does just download the basic app, but does not install it. You'll have to do the actual installing, which is very easy too, after the app is downloaded. But that's for a later time or another video. But once you have any of your apps installed, they will now show up on your home screen, which you can get to any time by clicking on the icon that looks like, well, the house. Big surprise there. Currently, I have no apps installed in this version, so it's still just showing the welcome screen. A couple more things about how Pinocchio works before I bid you adieu. Because Pinocchio itself is actually a browser now, you have the ability to run the app entirely within Pinocchio instead of having to open up an address in your separate browser once you start up the app in Pinocchio. Yes, that's how it used to be. And you still can do it that way if you want. But because it does work this way, this also gives you the option to have multiple windows open with multiple apps running at the same time. And that's what the little plus symbol with the word window under it means. This will bring up a new window with all the same functionality as the first window. And finally, there's the files icon. Nothing special here, but this will bring you directly to the directory where the apps are installed within the Pinocchio directory. If at any time you need to remove an app for space or install or remove a specific model for an app, this is where you do it. Deleting anything from this folder will only affect that app and will not hurt Pinocchio in any way. And removing the directory for any of these apps will remove it from the Pinocchio home screen too once you restart it. And I think that's about it for now, at least until Cocktail Peanut decides to do another giant update and makes this all completely outdated. I'm sure this one will last a while though. I hope. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. I'd very much appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.